guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Over the Seas. Today we are at Jufin. This is in Rufeng district of Taipei. This place was actually called as the Golden Mountain City. During 1890s, a person stocked gold in Jufin and a lot of gold miners started flocking here and they started living here until the gold mining activity was completely stopped and this became really quiet. Later, some filmmakers actually got interest in the Jufin area and they shot some movies and one of the most famous movies movie is City of Sadness which won the award with the Venice Film Festival or something and from then it really became famous and now even though the gold mining has stopped here still this is a very prosperous shopping district in Taipei. There are many small food stalls, tea houses, souvenir shops and pottery shops along the narrow street popularly known as Jufin Old Street. There are many desert shops selling pineapple cakes, mochis, jellies and what not. Stopped at one of the pineapple cake shops to taste the sample. It was so fresh that as soon as I took the bite, it felt so hot in my mouth. We didn't bite though because it felt too sweet for us. People visiting Jufin buy these desserts in bulk to share with their friends and family. Along with a wide variety of traditional food sold here, few shops also sell puffs. You should definitely try them once if you haven't before. You'll also find few shops selling antique toys and special Taiwanese souvenirs. And this peanut ice cream roll is a must. You'll find shops selling dried vegetables, fried squid and veggies, traditional momos made on the spot, meatballs and the famous taro balls. Taro balls often served with ice or with sweet hot soup is a traditional dessert prevalent all over Taiwan but Grandma Lai's taro ball shop makes each ingredient from scratch and many people enjoy watching the process. Even though this place is pretty crowded on most days, you can avoid the huge footfall by choosing a Monday to come here like we did. When you walk up the stairs in Jufin Old Street, you'll reach a scenic place overlooking the beautiful northeast coast. Even though you may find a lot of spirited away paintings and souvenirs, there is no evidence that this place actually inspired the village. Tea shops in this area are very famous and one of the most famous tea shop is this one. This is the most famous Instagrammable place in Taiwan actually. Whenever you just type Jufin, the place you'll see is this one or maybe some old street with the lanterns. And the view at night is really stunning. Unfortunately, we are not able to stay at night. Maybe next time we'll definitely do that night vlog. This one is even famous in the morning for pictures and all. And you can also have tea over there. They say that in every season, the view during the night and during the day is very different from the other seasons. Like every season has its unique view in this place. And you can see that over there, you can see the whole ocean, the mountains, everything. So uh, the complete view of Jufan comprises of this, like the ocean view, the mountains, the tea shop and the old street over here with the red lanterns. Like that is what makes Jufan very unique. If you have seen the movie Spirited Away, visiting this place, especially in the evening, will make you believe the animation has come to life even though there is no link whatsoever. Before going to the next place, we came to this vegan restaurant here and we ordered vegetarian steak rice, which looks like this. One look and you can definitely tell that this is quite bland. I'm waiting for Pradeep to try it first so that I know how it tastes before I try it out myself. It is made quite chewy in order to replicate the texture of the tea. It tastes good, it's just very bland for me. As the time passes, more and more people flock in to have a glimpse of Jufan Old Street. We are at the second spot of today's plan and this is very near to Jufan Old Street. This is located on the mainstream of Keelung River. It will take at least 25 to 30 minutes to reach the main waterfall area. We are here at Shifen Waterfall, so this is also known as the Little Niagara of Taiwan and this Shifen actually has Shi in it, that means 10 and this is named after the 10 families who initially developed the Pingxi region, so this is located exactly in the Pingxi region. Shifen Waterfalls is also one of the stops on Pingxi Railway Line. You have to pass through at least two suspension bridges which provide stunning scenery to enjoy. Depending on how many people are walking on the bridge and at what speed, the bridge can actually get quite shaky. 
पीपल गेटिंग ऑन दीज हॉर्सेज रिमाइंडेड आज ऑफ आर चाइल्डहुड वन वी यूज टू प्ले विदाउट बॉदिंग अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स ऑन द वे टू वाटरफॉल यूल ऑल्सो फाइन फ्यू स्टोर सेलिंग सॉफ्ट नेयर्स फूड एंड कोकोनट वाटर दिस इज द मोस्ट सिनिक वाटरफॉल इन ताइवान इट ऑल्सो गोज बाय द नेम लिटिल नायगर ऑफ ताइवान Even though it is much smaller than the real Niagara Falls, it's definitely worth a visit. This place has several waterfall viewing platforms from which visitors can view the waterfall from a variety of perspectives. The waterfall actually falls into an emerald pool from a height of 40 meters which causes the water droplets or mist to rise above the surface of the pond. And if the sun shines brightly, you'll also be able to witness the rainbow. We couldn't help but love how these cuties were posing for a picture. You are never too old to do anything when you are in Taiwan. That's for sure. We are on our way to another viewing platform from where we can see the waterfall from a height. As a result of erosion caused by the Keelung River along with faulted terrain and strange rocks, numerous waterfalls have also formed in this region, the most popular being Shifen Waterfall. A few minutes away from this place is Pingxi Old Street which also goes by the name Shifen Old Street. If you had ever heard of Sky Lantern Festival in Taiwan, this is the place where it is held. We are here at Shifen Old Street and this street is very famous for the sky lantern so you can make a wish and then fly a sky lantern like just light it and leave it in the air and hope that our wishes will come true so the most iconic place of this Shifen Old Street is this railway track which was used to uh, carry coal in the olden days now normal trains also run through this lane The alley has a variety of shops selling food, drinks and sky lanterns in particular. We wanted to light our own sky lantern for so long. The wait is finally over and we are about to do it right now. We have to choose the color first. There are about 8 colors with different meanings. Red means health and peace, blue means career and promotion and the list goes on. We can choose from single colored, quad colored or octa colored sky lanterns. They clip the lantern ready to be painted after we give them the four colors we selected and pay 250 NTD. Many people were choosing single color red which means health and peace. We imagine this sky lantern to be a canvas and started painting like crazy kids. We wrote as many wishes as we could think of for both of us as well as on behalf of all of you guys. Pradeep seems to be enjoying this, isn't he? If you are in Taiwan, you must definitely visit this place and give this a try. We are sure that you'll love it. We filled the lantern with all our wishes and now we are ready to light it. Before lighting the lantern they'll help you take your pictures with it from all the sides. They will also light the lantern for you and turn it around in such a way that it is easy for you to just leave it. Lighting a sky lantern dates back to Qing dynasty when people used to do it to signal safety. And here goes our lantern. The act of lighting a sky lantern symbolizes many things such as driving off darkness, bringing in hope, signaling safety and even sending wishes to the gods. It is our sincere hope that everyone's wishes and manifestations come true. This is all about our trip to Jufen. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.